Merci. Merci aux membres du jury. Merci à la Fondation. Merci à vous tous d'être ici. Merci à mes patrons. Je sais qu'il y en a quelques-uns qui sont ici de Radio-Canada et de l'émission Enquête qui nous permettent de faire le reportage que nous voulons faire, que nous aimons faire. D'autant plus que ces années sont difficiles puisqu'après sept ans d'excellence en journaliste, je crois, enquête, nous vivons des coupures à Radio-Canada qui, je crains, mettent en péril non seulement Radio-Canada, mais aussi l'émission Enquête. Thank you for being here. Thank you, members of the jury. Thank you, the foundation. Thank you for my bosses also who are allowing us to do the reporting we like to do. This award couldn't come at a better time. For seven years, our team at Enquête is trying to make a difference. Just think of the Charbonneau Commission, who has been launched after we broadcast our own inquiries investigation. But days are difficult. I have to let you know that I am fearing that the budget cuts, federal cuts, are putting Radio-Canada and also Enquête in jeopardy. But today, you're telling us that we have done a good job. Thank you for that. I just want to say thank you to the Canadian Journalism Foundation, and I want also to say that uh, this was a global story that was uh, also a global journalistic endeavor, and most of the stories we did could have been done without the help and the work of uh, Swiss uh, public television journalism, Yves Steiner, and also it, our stories benefited for, from the help, from, from, from advices and from conversation with our colleague at CBC Radio. Dave Seglins, and also with our colleague at the Globe and Mail, Greg McCarter. I don't know if Greg is here. No, but thank you. And it was a great, great honor to be recognized, to see that our work is recognized outside of our, our Quebec, where our core audience is. And I want to thank you for that.